Well, hello. Welcome to the Writer's Life, a place where you get the sights, sounds, smells, tastes of my particular writer's life, and where you get the truth about the writer's life. Um, if you haven't already, uh, subscribe, please. Uh, smash that like button and uh, hit the bell for notifications so that you don't miss out on one single unbelievably exciting video. How exciting they are. Uh, myths. Myths. M-Y-T-H-E-S. Oh my god, I spelled something right for a change. You guys realize I can't spell. I have... I still have trouble spelling, cer spelling certain words. I think I'm dyslexic. I just don't know it. Anyway, I've never taken a test for it, but who knows. Um, a myth I wanted to talk about today really quickly is uh, that whole thing about write what you know. Like, you can't write something well unless you know what you're talking about, right? Um, that's bovine scat scatology. Um, a real professional can write about anything. Um, in fact, uh, a, uh, a journalist colleague of mine who also worked at RT um, back in the day out of Moscow um, used to say, as a freelance writer, she'd say... Uh, if you want to succeed as a freelance writer, you must learn to write interestingly about a tea bag. Obviously, what she means is um, you can take even the most mundane subject that you have no idea about and make it interesting to the reader. Today alone, I've written about um, what did I write about. I wrote about um, I wrote an article on uh, tr lift kits for Jeep Wranglers. Now, I do know something about Jeeps because I own a Jeep Wrangler. And I'm a, a, a Jeep enthusiast, but by no means am I, like, mechanically inclined. So while I can write about lift kits, I have no no idea that, uh, to what goes into it. Or, I would, you know, I'm not even sure I would know, on, know it, no one when I looked at it. Um, but I was able to write convincingly about it because I did my research. Um, and I just finished another article on uh, the outlook for the cannabis industry for 2022. <laughs> now... I definitely don't know anything about pot, that's for sure. Um, much less the, the business, legal or not. Um, but in doing my research, I learned a lot about it, actually. Um, and it turns out 2022 is going to be a banner year, maybe, for uh, cannabis. Uh, but lo and behold, the government is throwing all these regulations at it um, and laws. So, you know, go figure, right? Um, the same people who were screaming for uh, legalization are now, like, putting their, like, sticky little fingers all over it and trying to ruin the business people, people's fun. Anyway, ruin their livelihood anyway. Um, but that's neither here nor there. The point is I was able to successfully write about it. And I wrote some fiction, you know, like, about, you know, a subject I have no idea about. And uh, um, all it takes is, like... You know, that's why this is such a great era to live in. Um, I don't have to go to the library. I don't have to make a bunch of phone calls. Um, um, I don't have to do any of the legwork that a journalist and or reporter would have had to have done um, even 15 years ago. You know, I could just do it all on this thing now. And, uh, and uh, you know, get three sources and uh, I'm done. You know, just have to write the, write the piece. Um, that's probably why I wouldn't have made a great journalist 50 years ago or something. Because I think I'm I'm not willing to you know, go out there and do that legwork and knock on doors and you know get in people's faces and all that sort of stuff. I'm just way too impatient for that kind of thing. You know, um, I'm not a you know Woodward or Bernstein kind of guy. Um, I still have friends who are, though, and who, you know, who started writing when I did, and, you know, and they're the last of their breed, for sure, um, going out chasing after a story and, uh, you know, getting all that information firsthand. Um, but in any case, uh, luckily, um, I'm predominantly a fiction writer, so, you know, I don't have to worry about it. I can just rely on my mind, my crazy mind, my vivid imagination. All right, that's all I want to talk about today. So, no, if you want to be a free, successful freelance writer, you most definitely do not have to know 
what you're writing about. In fact, if anything, I think it helps not knowing because it makes it much more interesting for you as the, as the writer. So, anyway, that's it. I uh, hope you're having a great day and enjoying your vacation if you're on vacation. And uh, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.